Hey everybody, Mr. B here and welcome to The Loft. Today I'm going to show you how to do an extremely simple sheet pan chicken that is perfect for any time during the week, kind of on the go, and awesome for meal prep. Let's go. Okay, start with your sheet pan. Line it with a little parchment paper. Patch your chicken dry. and wash your hands. I am using um, bone-in skin on thighs and legs that I frequently use. This cut is very inexpensive, even though it feels like it's doubled since the pandemic came along, like everything else, but uh, you can still get a pretty good reasonable price on this. Now, I am gonna season this with some equal parts garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. That's kind of my base seasoning. To this, I would also add, depending on what I'm wanting to do, Cajun seasoning. I could add some herbs to Provence, et cetera, et cetera. One of the things that I love about this from a food prep perspective is it's pretty much a blank slate. Okay, so if you want to go kind of an Asian style with some seasonings, then you're more than welcome to do it. If you want to go even like kind of an oven barbecue sort of thing. Um, you could use some, uh, you know, grill rub type of, uh, of profiling going on. And then at the end, take it out, put some barbecue sauce on it, pop it under the boiler and let that crisp up. But today I am doing just sort of your basic kind of Sunday style chicken. Um, another thing, another tip here, if you kind of put this sort of on the side that you are not going to cook it on. In other words, I always cook skin side up, bone side down. Then you only have to flip it once. Back to the seasoning, always when you're dealing with chicken or any protein, put your seasoning in a separate dish. You don't want to be touching the chicken and grabbing your, your spice containers, etc., for cross-contamination. Now, I am going to season this liberally and heavy with kind of my house mix. I've also pulled the chicken out about 15 minutes or so and kind of let it set, let it come up to room temperature. Um, it sort of helps with the cooking process. You've heard me say that, or some of you may have heard me say that a thousand times, but it is true. We're not talking about letting it come up to the point to where it's in the danger zone, okay? Um, but still, you don't want to bring it straight out of the refrigerator and have it uh, go into an oven that cold. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to season this side. I'm going to try to get most of the chicken coated in this, right? These sheet pan um, type situations, I know everybody's seen this all over the web and, um, you know, the Food Network and that type of thing, but it's great because by doing a sheet pan, um, versus like a nine by 13 or something with sides. It helps the moisture kind of evaporate. You can also put veg on this. One of the things that's delicious, um, if I'm eating carbs, is to season your chicken on a separate plate. Take some potatoes, use russet, Yukon gold, red potatoes, and season that with some olive oil and some rosemary and some thyme, and toss that up real good. Put that out on the bottom and set your chicken seasoned chicken on top of that. What happens is the potatoes steam, that keeps the uh, chicken very, very moist, but that chicken fat gets down into them taters, y'all, and fries them, and it is absolutely amazing. You can't stop eating them, which is why I don't eat them that often. I've got a shit ton of whole garlic. I haven't even peeled it. We're gonna willy-nilly 
just spread that around. Try to make sure maybe there's a clove or two in between each piece of chicken. Like that, that's gonna be an aromatic. It's gonna help go, 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 go. Also, I've got a couple of lemons here. Lemon and chicken is like peas and carrots, willy-nilly. Let's drop this lemon down on the pan, okay? And then we're gonna take a few remaining pieces and we're just going to give it a squirty squirt all over the chicken with that little hit of that juice there. Lime would be amazing for this, especially if you were using more of a nation or, or Latin even type of a flavor profile. Whatever you like on chicken can be done here. But wait, we are not finished. Because I'm doing kind of a traditional flavor palette here, should have had all of this open. Traditional roasted chicken, I'm going to spread some fresh thyme, again, willy-nilly, all over the place here. Don't worry about the stems, you can easily pick them off later. Same with some rosemary, just kind of in the middle here. Look at that, look at that. And I absolutely love sage, so we're going to drop just a little bit of some fresh sage down here. Absolutely make it not only delicious, but your house is going to smell like fall. And here you have it, kids. This is ready for a 425 degree oven for 40 minutes. You're gonna to wanna to check it at 30 minutes. And if you have a convection set setting, I highly recommend you use it. Y'all, I have literally put all of that together in less time than it took for me to preheat my oven. This is why it is perfect for a work day. I've got a little bit of time between a meeting. I'm gonna have chicken in the oven during a meeting. I'm gonna free up and I'm gonna have lunch. It's perfect. Here we go, go back. Set the timer. 30 minutes, because I know I'm gonna need to check it. All right, kids, here you have it. Classic roast chicken on a sheet tray. Who would have thunk? It is so easy, you can do it anytime, right? But it's good enough for a Sunday dinner. So, a couple of points of note here. It did take about 50 minutes, so you may wanna go 40 on the initial, check it, and then see you know your oven better than I do, right? Another uh, point of note here is that it's gonna need to rest for a minute and that's the perfect time for you to do your side dish. Steamed broccoli, green beans, whatever you're in the mood for. Um, if you're eating healthier, you know, or simple as just pairing it with a really good green salad. There you have it guys. Sheet tray, roasted chicken. Click right, like, hit subscribe. Come along for the ride. We're gonna see you next time. Cheers.